we're going to be taking a look at how to solve a problem where we take an input that looks like this and becomes an output that looks like this. So what we're solving for is we have an input that has a nested list of objects. Once we hit a primitive value in that nested list, we should be returning that as a prefixed key with all of the keys that we initially hit. And then the value would be the primitive value that we finally hit. So for instance, if we're going through this problem, we're going to go through A, then B, then C. And finally, C is going to be a primitive value. So we'll return that as 1, like this. And for 2, we now skip B, because we've already gone through it. So we go A and D, we've hit a primitive value. So now our key will just be A and D, and our value would be 2. So let's build this out. So to build this out, we'll write function flatten with prefix. And we'll take two arguments here. We'll take the first argument called object. And our second argument is going to call, be called prefix, which is just an empty string by default. Now, what we're going to want to do here is we start off by defining a result, which is an empty object. And we'll finally return that at the end. What else we want to do here? is we want to iterate through our object. So we'll say for const key in object. And we'll grab our object value. So we'll say const val equals to object key. And we also want to grab our prefixed value. So we'll say const prefix val equals to prefix, which is empty by default, plus key. Now we want to check if type of val equals to an object. If it does, we'll do stuff. Otherwise, we'll do some other stuff. So if it is an object, we want to overwrite result. So we'll say result equals to, and we'll open and close an, a new curly brace. And we'll use the spread operator to preserve the original values for result. And then the second would be recursively calling or flatten with prefix function with the spread operator. So we'll say spread out, flatten with prefix. Our first argument now will be the val. And our second argument will be the prefix val that we created. And then for the type of primitives or any other value that's not objects, result, prefix val, equals simply to val. And that's pretty much it. We can try running this. So I'll copy this and I'll do a console.log. So our first argument is the input and we don't have to worry about writing a second argument here. We press run. We get our expected output.